this video we're going to show you Yamaha's all new Connect system while the engines are in operation. So if you follow me with the camera real quick here, we'll go ahead and get started. First of all, you'll notice you've got a nice new screen here with gauges that are going to show you key information uh, with an LCD display that's going to show you key information uh, as we're kind of navigating through. Uh, this will demonstrate things just as simple as your speed, your depth, your stereo control, system functions, uh, any kind of information that you might need to access is all found inside of this one system now. You have a connectivity, or excuse me, a control interface here with the rotary knob, which functions like a mouse on a computer. So as I rotate through, I can choose functions by selecting the mouse. You've also got your home feature, allowing you to choose home. You've got your media feature, which allows you to choose your medium. You have a cancel feature. And up on the dash, you've got additional buttons that allow you to control things like your bilge, your trim for information, which is found here, your systems control information, your lighting information, as well as your horn. Now these are just quick connects. Any of these buttons that you're seeing here, these are just quick access. If you want to do anything on the screen, you can also touch. So if I press the trip information button, that's the same as pressing the trip information button here. If I press the media button, that's the same as pressing the media button here found on the control knob. If I press my lighting information, it's the same as pressing the lighting information found right here up on the top, your lighting information there. So there's just a couple of different ways to access each individual screen. So now that I've shown that, I want to show you each individual page. So we've got, on your home page here, you've got your clock, you have your voltage, both your system's voltage and your auxiliary voltage. You've got your fuel, showing us a percentage as well as a graphic. You've got your uh, depth display here in feet, and it'll also show you by a graphic as well. You've got twin RPM gauges here, showing you your analog here, but your digital here. You have your miles per hour showing here, so your speeds we found in this location. You have your compass heading, latitude, longitude, and also your elevation. And then if we were to have a depth alarm go off, this is your mute button for that depth alarm if it were to go off. You have indicators below the screen here, and those are all showing, for instance, your bilge. If we were to turn the bilge switch on, that tells you that your bilge is on. Your blower switch is found here, your blower will be on. And so these are just basic indicator lights to tell you if those systems are on and functioning. We've also got our nav anchor lights, interior lights, docking lights, and our shower. And those are just indicator lights to let you know if those things are on and active. If I go over to this next uh, switch here, which is your trip information, it's going to show you your port and starboard hours. It's going to show you your average miles per gallon, your miles traveled, your gallons per hour burning right now, and also to your high speed and your average speed. And you can reset them all by holding down this reset all button, and it'll take them back to zeros. If I want to go to the next page here, which is your media button, we can press the media switch here, which is found here under the little music symbol. Or you can also press your media button here right next to the rotary knob. And what we'll do is we'll tune into the radio station now. You notice what's, once you're on the media page, you can turn the knob and it'll allow you to turn the volume up and down. You can also do that by pressing on the screen. So if I want to take and, and control the volume, I can just press the volume up and down with the plus and minus button. We're going to go to the media button here, or the menu button here. This is going to allow you to control the fade. If I want to go back to the main page, we'll press back. It'll take you back to your main media page. So now we've got auxiliary up in the left, upper left-hand corner here. If you've got a standard MP3 player, that'll connect through the auxiliary port. If you've got an iPhone that uses a traditional USB connection, it's going to connect here. You've also got a 12-volt charger, so if you want to hook up your phone and charge it, that's what you do there. You've also got here under your media, if I go back, you've got a weather band radio, which is new for this year. It's a first for Yamaha jet boats. So that gives you information for weather. If we go back to media, we've got a Bluetooth connection here. So if you want to connect to a smartphone that has Bluetooth connectivity, you can connect there. We go back to our media section here. We have radio. You can change your radio stations through FM1, FM2, FM3, AM1, or AM2. You can also choose your stations by simply pressing the arrows left or right. Once we're done with this, we have presets for each of these uh, settings. So you have five different preset pages that you can access. We can go into our lighting mode now. We can choose our navigation lighting, our anchor lighting, our dock lighting, our courtesy lighting, and our tower lighting on this limited S model. Just easy access, and it shows you a graphical display of which lights are actually on at this time. We go to our systems control page. We can control our bilge. We can control our blower. We can control our shower all from this page. There are also manual switches for that as well, but they give you access through the screen on this page. Our final page is our settings page. You notice that you've got our depth gauge, which is actually accessible. You can slide 
your depth. Uh, so you can choose your depth setting based off of your slider. We'll set it to something more tolerable, about three feet or so. And you've got an alarm that goes off when you get into a, a depth that's less than what you set in the, in the setting here. You've got your day and nighttime modes, so you can toggle through night or day as far as the brightness of the screen. We've got our time selector here, so we can set the time. And we can also choose our units if we want U.S. system or if we want the metric system. So that's something that you can easily access from that page. We we'll go back to the home page now, and we're back to our main operation. So in this video, we wanted to just show you some of the basic features that are found inside the Connect system. For more information about this system in specific, you can call Cycle Springs Power Sports. You can also visit their website at CycleSpringsOnline.com. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.